Hello, beloveds, and welcome to a very special edition of two week, your weekly inspiration with Tanya Melendez. I am here in Puerto Rayarta at the beach. Today is my last day, so I'm going to share a little of this beach love with you, as well as our tarot reading. But of course, we've got to do our prayer first. So let's take it to prayer. So sorry about the little bit of shakiness going on, but serve, share, shine comes first. So just breathing in grace and God. Breathing in gratitude, knowing right where we are, God is, right where we are, peace is, right where we are, prosperity is. So I bless us in this week. I bless everything in our week. I bless our minds, our bodies, our spirits. I bless our work, what we are here to do, our modes of transportation. I bless our homes, the food and the, the food we eat and the drinks we drink. I bless it all. I bless our bank accounts. I bless our minds. May we be renewed by the healing of our minds. So grateful for this expression of life. So grateful to be here for the technology. I'm so grateful for you, beloveds. And so I just release this prayer knowing that all is well and so are we. Everything, everything, everything is working for our highest and best good. And so it is. So, beloveds, just wanted to let you know I had to do the tarot reading a little bit early today and a little bit different, obviously, from I'm from the beach. I'm using my personal deck today, the cosmic tarot. Again, the energy of the beach, the energy of this week. I really wanted to share something personal and then the cards we got are outstanding. So again, thank you so much for being here and tuning in for another weekly inspiration. So our first card, beloveds, is unmistakably the world. And so what this is telling me is we have everything we need. Oh my gosh, but wait, sorry to interrupt the card reading. Look at that. We're about to get lifted for real with some skyness look at that awesome awesome thank you so much beloveds for that so okay so our first card the world so what this is telling me is that we've got to acknowledge our power we've got to acknowledge our presence we've got to acknowledge that we matter we have to be okay with putting our needs first and allowing ourselves to align with our divine spirit so it's really important that we accept who we are flaws and all and really start to align with that truth because the world is waiting because then our next card is the queen of cups and so this is an emotionally balanced woman and experience but also this is about being true to your emotions you have captured both sides the intuitive and the feminine so step into your feminine side with mercury retrograde coming up this week it's really about tuning into your divine truth because then we get the seven of wands now seven being the highly spiritual number that it is, is reminding us to be aware that there are delus are illusions, there are distractions, and there are things that will come against us, but we have to remain steadfast in our power and remind ourselves that we are a part of a divine world and everything is working for our highest best good. So I really love this week's message. I know it's all about self-empowerment and growth and expansion because that's really what this last week is about before we go into this Mercury retrograde. This Mercury retrograde is about remembering. It's also about reflecting and it's about resetting. So beloveds, I am challenging you to get ready for this Mercury retrograde which kicks off on Thursday the 28th. Back up your stuff, be alive with what's true and really take some time to step into your power what is it that you truly want because it'll be our first new moon in a retrograde period so we're gonna have new beginnings and transformational energy coming up at the same time as stuff from the past so it's gonna be a little dicey but I know we can do it and I'm gonna guide you every single step of the way so I want to make sure that you are checking out every single day the daily miracle club prayer you can check that out get the number as well as listen to the replay on my Facebook, Tarot Life Coach, or Tanya Melendez on Facebook. And also, please make sure you tune in on Wednesday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time for my very special guest, Jen Fleck, who is the best-selling author of the book, Eat, Pray, Love, Made Me Do It. So you do not want to miss that, and I'll have my tarot deck on deck, as well as Spirit Squad this week and um, The Love Train with Karen Palmer on Periscope. So lots of things and ways to connect with me this week. And also remember, I still have a few spots left for the Virtual Psychic Summit. If you are ready to be a presenter to serve, share, shine, I'm waiting for you. As well as I wanted to also let you know about the laser, the Insight Laser Sessions. If you know you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, really just want to get some quick, easy information, a 40-minute read with me, check it out on my website. I'm offering 11 a month, and I've got about three left. So if you know you want to get in, want to talk to me, 
it's not expensive. It's less than a hundred bucks. So it gives you time to really check in with me and I can look at everything.